do another one, maybe. Um, <laughs> no ice, no KKK, no fascist USA. No, no ice. ice, no, no KKK, KKK, no fascist USA. No, no ice, no KKK, no fascist USA. No ice, no KKK, no fascist USA. No ice, no KKK, no fascist USA. No ice. No KKK, no fascist USA! No ice! No KKK, no fascist USA! Those are the same thing, huh? Interesting. Do you have a chant? You participate? Are those the same thing? Ice and KKK, those are the same thing? I mean, those are different things. They're different things. Gotcha. Don't want either. So they're not refugees either, they're migrants. I don't know if y'all knew that. They're not They're, they're not seeking, refugees. They're, but they're seeking yeah. asylum here. Yeah, yeah, don't, don't give him the time of day. Don't, don't, don't give him the time of day. Don't give okay. him the time of day. Fair enough. <laughs> so, it, I mean, are those, do you dispute those facts or? Uh, yeah. Like with what? What is your count, what is your retort to that? They're requesting asylum. Why didn't they uh, stop off in Mexico? They were offered asylum and work and health care in Mexico, I believe. Is that not true? No, that's not true. Is that fake news or? Yeah, well, it kind of like got rumor, but it's not true. The Mexican okay. president said we didn't say that. The Mexican president said that, yeah. so they're not, no. they're not no. offered asylum. Okay. What's the name of it? Dan, Dan. how's it going? Remember when your pants fell around your ankles and John was chasing you around the park? Yeah, that was pretty funny. Yeah, that was all on live stream. Good time. That, that was a good episode. Yeah. Thanks for the content. Everything's content, really. But you know facts remain it's not they're not refugees just thought i put that out there An old comrade of mine used to say after we had our club meetings, all right, Brian, you got to double up on that vitamin C. Every time we got cold out, we got to double up on that vitamin C, y'all, so we see Mark. So ice and KK are the same thing, and uh, economic migrants are now refugees, I guess. That's what we've learned today. Well, they're human beings, right? Yes, they are. Right. So, I mean, what's your point in terms of... I mean, they, they kind of skipped over Mexico. I'm just perplexed why. I mean, you know, the question is how many people should we take in? And I mean, if, if, if someone proposes like a limit to how many people America takes in, they're accused of being like xenophobic or racist. When we already take in like millions of people, you know what I mean? So I guess why isn't it Mexico's job or anyone else's job to take them in? But does you know I mean? one country's failure justify our failure? Yeah. I mean, uh, if, I mean, it's a, if it's a moral issue, I mean, if, we're, if you're just talking about legality, then that leads to a whole other conversation about whether law is always just or whether true. law should always be obeyed. I guess it, it's not it's not an argument to just say that, oh, it's the law, but I mean, if, if someone is law and order and they prefer like a, a tight, secure country, then borders are going to be something that they support and I think that a lot of times those people get miscast as, uh, you know what I mean, like ultra bigots when they may not necessarily be that. I'm kind of aloof on the immigrant question, but at the same time, like, I hear that it's getting pretty violent down there. And like, one, one officer got like a huge, not just a shiner, but he had like, I mean, it was a picture, it could have been anything, but he, it was an officer of color even. And he had like a huge fucking bloody gash in his eye from a rock that had been thrown. I heard, you know, stories of that, and I heard that um, they, some of the migrant caravan were using like women and children as human shields. Like, is that is that not true? Like, I don't know. I don't. I, mean, I would I would say that it was probably not the majority.